Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's so good to see you. Thank you for being here. So in today's video, I thought we could chat about all of my favorite things at the moment because I've been I've been collecting a few things. I've been purchasing. So I thought we could uh, discuss together because I love watching this type of video. I love watching this content because it gives me ideas for things to buy. Yeah, let's get into the video. The first thing I wanna talk about is this glass that I got from Zara. I have a few like it and I'm absolutely obsessed. It's literally just a glass. It's honestly nothing special, but it's just made me feel so like cute when having like my little drinks. And so I'd wanted a glass like this for honestly so long and I don't know what it is, but there's part of me that still thinks I'm a child and that I can't like purchase things from my home. Like, does that make sense? Am I the only one? I don't know. But anyways, I absolutely love it. Okay, so the next thing I wanna talk about is my vitamin box. So I got this from ESN. I mean, big surprise, literally all of my supplements and everything are from ESN. But what I really like is it's got, okay, I don't wanna tip all of them out. What I really like is that it's got all these different sections that I can like lay out over a week's worth of vitamins. And I've just noticed that I have been taking my vitamins every single day ever since I got this whereas before I would take them like for a few days in a row and then I would stop um whereas I've been in such a good routine with this for like over a month now so for me that's really good and I don't know maybe get yourself a vitamin box if you don't have one already Okay, so the next thing I want to talk about is this CeraVe Retinol. Now, I have been seeing so many people talking about how everybody needs to start using retinol, especially if you're 25, like retinol, retinol, retinol. And I just didn't know where to start. And I was kind of scared because like, I don't want to damage my skin. And I know that there's some scariness around using retinol and like burning your skin. And I was like, I don't want to do that. I found this one and it was actually recommended on, I believe Nat Natalie O'Neill is her name. She's like my favorite skincare influencer. Um, and she recommended this one and I've been using it and so is Victor and he absolutely loves it. It's super gentle. It's a really great like starter one. Um, yeah, it's 20 pounds though. So do with that what you will. Next is this hunk right here. So I, my water bottle broke officially like a month or two ago. And so I needed to get a replacement, of course. Um, it's really not too different than my old water bottle, but I don't think I've actually shown it on this channel. So here we are, perfect time to do so. It's got a little strap so I can like hold it and when I'm going around the gym. It's also got one here, which is also quite handy. And then it's got a straw, which is all great. But the main thing that I really love about this is that it's insulated. It just means that I have this two liters sitting on my desk. I can easily drink. I don't have to keep filling up my water bottle. And that kind of like barrier to drinking water and staying hydrated is just eliminated when I've got this. I love her. She is my favorite. Okay, the next thing is this little bag and not the bag itself, but the idea of the bag. Have you ever known somebody or had a friend who just always has everything you need? Like say you need um, like a mint, like she's got it. And say you need a hair tie, she's got an extra. Say you need some hand lotion, she's got it. So I was like, you know what, like screw it. I want to be that girl. Like I want to just have things with me that I need. But I was saying to myself, like it's so hard to actually remember to put all those stuff in my bag. So then I was like, why don't I get a bag within my bag? Oh, maybe you already do this, I don't know. But for me, this has been such a game changer because I just transferred this into each bag that I go out with. So now this is like an extension of me. It's the same kind of thing as bringing my wallet. I'll have this. So I thought we could go through what's in here because I actually don't even know. Um, and then maybe you can get inspired for your own little baggie. First thing is some tissues and I've got some dry eye eye drops because my eyes are always like dry and itchy and I get stuff in them all the time. So it's just handy to have. So these are some Gaviscon like indigestion pills, really bad like heartburn and just like, like tummy issues. So we've always got these on hand and it just makes me feel better knowing that I have it. So if I need it while I'm out, I've got it. Same thing with paracetamol, like just knowing that I can get headaches quite a lot, especially like, what the heck's that? Sorry, Victor ordered food. <laughs> oh my God, that was so stressful. The code wasn't working that like we normally give. Still whispering, cause I don't know if the delivery guy's still outside. Like he was really nice and everything, but like Victor's not home. And so I was like thinking to myself, I was like, oh my God, like I need to check the code and I need to text Victor. But what if the guy realizes that I'm home alone and he like robs me or tries to kill me? Or kidnap me or something do you know what i mean like obviously that didn't happen because i'm here but i'm just letting y'all know what goes through my little pea brain head every time there's a situation i'm alert okay she's alert okay i literally do not know where i was i think i was talking about paracetamol i just really like to have paracetamol with me because i don't know 
you just never know when you need it and you know when you need it you need it next some hand lotion from tic tacs these actually don't work very well but it is what it is chapstick burt's bees is the best no one can tell me otherwise perfume this is my absolute favorite perfume I got it from sephora as a little travel one because the big ones are expensive so i just get the little travel ones and it's perfect and then i've just got some tampons so yeah that's all that's in my little pouch and i can't lie it's so handy like it just really really is so yeah maybe if you have a pouch tell me what's inside of yours and then i can get some inspiration for mine Next, I'm going to talk about my walking pad, so I'm going to insert some clips of me like setting it up, using it, and the vibes um, while I talk to you about it. So essentially, I have a high step goal, and I just also feel like during the day I work from home, so I very rarely get movement in during the day. Like I'm super active in the mornings when I go to the gym, but on like a rest day, I don't actually move that much. So I've been wanting to get a walking pad for ages like literally years at this point so the treadmill i got was about 230 pounds which i was kind of like that is expensive but i was also thinking realistically if i use it like every single day it will quickly pay off and then the first day i got it it was pouring down with rain and i felt so smug on my little treadmill knowing that i didn't have to go for a walk in the rain I was feeling gassed up. So yeah, I honestly use it every single day. I could not recommend it more. Um, I'll link the one I got in the description. Um, it fits so well underneath my couch. Like it's it, honestly such a blessing. I love it so much. Okay, next I wanna talk about two things from TikTok shop. So the first being this cute little top. Um, it has this little like slit here up the side and it just honestly is like such a lovely fit. It's so buttery soft. I'm, I'm absolutely obsessed. I ordered it in like three different colors. I'd really been wanting to get a few new pieces, but I'm horrible at shopping. And I also don't really think I've got the best fashion sense. So I don't really trust myself too much to do much shopping, but I really, really like the way that this looks on. And the next thing also from TikTok shop is this fitness jacket. Now I was so skeptical, okay? I saw this everywhere on my For You page and I was like, yeah, 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 right. It's probably gonna be trash. And then I saw somebody that I really liked wearing it and I was like, well, sh if she won't be lying to me. So then I ordered it and my goodness, no, she was not lying. I have this in four colors. So I've got it in this one, a bit of a pink color, a purple, a white, and a black. Is that four or is that five? Five. Oh my God, I've gotten five colors. Girl, calm down. But yeah, I really love it. It's super soft. It washes really, really well. Recently, I've done like a massive clear out of my closet because I wanted to make sure that all of the pieces that I have really and truly make me like feel good when I wear them. Like there's no point of me keeping tops that when I put them on, they make me feel insecure. They make me feel comfortable and just not confident in my body. Like I don't need that kind of energy in my house. I should be able to put on all of my clothing and feel my best in it. So that's my new rule is nothing stays unless I absolutely love in it and makes me feel like a million dollars baby next i want to give you two book recommendations now these aren't my typical self-help type of books these are kind of like a murder mystery type of thing and they're so good so i read both of these via audiobook so i guess i more so listened to them but i realized i just didn't have loads of time to dedicate to reading physical books and instead of just not reading altogether i realized that i could compromise and do audiobooks instead so when i'm on the treadmill or the stairmaster i'll listen to my audiobooks i do actually listen to them on two times speed which helps massively with my attention span like when i'm on the treadmill so the book is called the murder after the night before i didn't even think about how to describe this without ruining the entire plot um basically it's about this girl whose life goes gets absolutely ruined by a viral social media clip absolute nightmare scenario if i'm completely honest um but it turns into a murder mystery about her best friend and it just honestly the entire book is so well written it's funny it's sad it's it's everything you need it to be and it just really is a great read so i definitely recommend and that book is by Katie Brent, by the way. The next book is called None of This is True, and it's by the author Lisa Jewell. Now, I think she might become one of my favorite authors because I've read this book and then I'm halfway through another book of hers and I love them so much. I just really like her writing style. Like, it feels like you're really, like, there and you're, like, another character in the story, which is really good. This book is essentially about this woman who runs into this other woman at a bar and they find out that they're birthday twins. So they were born on the same day, the same year, the same hospital. And the storyline kind of unfolds with 
this one woman becoming a little bit jealous of her life and it just it honestly it it all goes crazy I'm trying to record this clip for so long but i realize i actually can't discuss too much because i'm gonna give the entire plot of the book away i'm sorry you're gonna have to take my word for it but otherwise i will literally ruin the entire book okay so the next thing i'm gonna talk about is tv show recommendations because i have honestly been laughing my little patootie off okay so the first one is abbott elementary now i don't even know if this was recommended to us or whether we just stumbled upon it and put it on but i think it's on disney um and it's by quinta quinta johnson is it let me check but not quinta johnson quinta brunson you may recognize her from i think she did buzzfeed videos back in the day yes yeah, so she wrote and produced this entire tv show and it is so good it's so funny like it gives you like office parks and rec vibes but like it's its own type of show and it just really really is funny and then the next one is hell's kitchen i'm sure everybody in the world's heard of hell's kitchen but we just recently randomly started a one of the seasons and we've enjoyed it so much just like the drama learning about cooking like all sorts and even which is telling you something because he is a picky man when it comes to TV shows. The last one is one that Vic had recommended to him by one of his friends and it's called Staff Let's Flats. Have you ever seen Friday Night Dinner? It's like the exact same type of like awkwardness that Jim brings to the table. Like every time you open, like they open the door and it's Jim there, like it's that awkward like oh like what is going on? That's the only way I can describe Staff Let's Flats. Like it's just so funny the characters are absolutely insane it honestly is so so good so definitely go check it out and yeah so those are all the things that recently i found myself really loving really enjoying and just like thinking about a lot so i hope you enjoyed this video i hope it brought some inspiration for you and yeah i hope you have the best day ever wherever you are whatever you're doing i love you goodbye